Hey everybody, two boys, one brain cell, Joel Norton here, and Chuck with the entrance. I was trying to start it without you. I see this. <sighs> Didn't want you here. He's so mean. And today we're reacting to a request. Uh, this one's for days and days, call in the corner. Um, I don't know if I've heard this song, but in this is folk punk. Okay. I have heard some from Days and Days. It's not my forte. Um, and you'll you'll see why here in a minute. Um I mean folk punk? Yes. I think we've done right. one other song that was folk punk. And you actually I think enjoyed it. I like folk. Yeah. I really like so folk. We'll so. see see what you think here. Um Yeah, I'm I'm just gonna go into it with open mind and yeah. see what see what happens. Let's dive into it. <laughs> Perfect time to pause, bud. Well. <laughs> What's up, bud? Well. <laughs> okay, so they're, I don't know what they're doing with their voices there. It's like a weird it's very kind of scratchy. Scream, scratch yeah. thing. It's yeah. almost like a scream. Almost, yeah. But, but not quite. Yeah. And honestly, watching the um, one singer go from that scream scratch to playing a trumpet. <laughs> yeah. It's impressive. <laughs> I tried to play a trumpet once. <laughs> I failed. <laughs> no. Um, the instruments are, the instrumental it's, is interesting. But yeah, that's really, really nice. Yeah, it's way different very unique um the reason i'm not a fan of pol folk punk is the vocals yeah like uh, it just to me i can't do the rough over i, yeah. I don't know how to put it like I, I guess i can do it like i think it's just the way it's like a scream yeah like that other the, the refrain part right there that they just sang yeah beautiful loved yeah. it and that's what makes me really confused about the song in general because I I really don't like that other part, like with the scr the yeah. screechy vocals, it may, and I've been told it's something that you'll warm up to, yeah. but I, I I haven't gotten warmed up to it yet. Yeah. Just, Anytime I hear that weird growl, like what we heard at the beginning of this song or at the end of other songs, that's not even comparable. No, no, <laughs> it's not fully comparable. I'm trying to compare it to Lorna Shore, N it's a different growl. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But I'd a say. growl nonetheless. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I just, uh, it makes me really torn. Uh, just not my cup of tea exactly. So, but uh, obviously let's finish it out and see where yeah, it goes. Absolutely. Um, I'm kind of curious if there's more of those clean vocals in there. I love clean vocals. 
it doesn't really make any sense that I like really heavy music, but I can't get into that. Yeah. That's it kind of weird. weird. Now that you pointed out, he's always talking about. For all I care. For all I care. I will say it does have a certain rawness. Yeah. That it adds to it. Um, I like how it ended. Yeah. Again, it, vocally, it's not my exact cup of tea, but I'm not hating on it by any means. Same. So guys, I, it, I could agree with that 100%. Um, the vocals are, it's different. It is. I'm not used to it mm-hmm. by any length of the imagination. Yeah. Um, Still trying to get used to any kind of punk lo- that vocals. Rough, that rough yeah. vocals, yeah. Um, yeah, so I, I appreciate the, uh, request on my side. I, and, uh, I know he does too. He just, uh, yes. for me, like I said, I've, I have tried to get into these. I think it was the last folk punk one. We, we talked about this and I was like, I really struggled to get into it. Um, uh, my buddy loves it and, yeah. you know, just no disrespect to him. It just, just, uh, or, or any of you guys watching for that matter. Um, I'm going to go with a 5.1. This is very middle ground for me. Um, I like parts of it, but then there's other parts I really didn't like. I just yeah. disliked. Like I said, my personal opinion, uh, no res- disrespect. Instrumentally, though, they, they were on the shit with that. Um, as far as <clears throat> you could tell, they're very highly talented. Well, I'll start off with that. Oh, yeah. Um, instrumentally, sound song, I loved how... Um, the one singer would go back and forth with the trumpet and those vocals. That was impressive. Which is gnarly. It is. Like, that's nuts. You aren't going to see that with too many genres at all, if any other ones. No. Agreed. Um, so that's highly impressive. I did like the one little part with the clean lyrics that was there. The chorus. Yeah. That was nice. But overall, I couldn't get into any of the vibe or anything because of the vocals. That raw, scratchy sound with with the vocals and then with the instrumentals, it didn't mesh very well for me at all, in my opinion. So um, overall, I'm going to go with a 4.6 out of 10, and it does not make a playlist. Fair enough. Um, yeah, like I said, yeah, you could tell it's highly talented. I really like the ending there where it was just, it's over and just done. Yeah, and we do have a couple other requests by these guys in the – request line so awesome. I mean, what maybe there's a chance we warm up to it a little bit 100 percent. you never know um always down to check out new stuff even get us out of our comfort zone which this is the epitome of both of us out of our comfort yeah, zone yeah <laughs> yeah normally it's just one of us yeah that's fine and that's normally me yeah yeah that's right. <laughs> <laughs> um guys uh if you guys want to have a little bit of fun on our uh our to our expense uh you can vote for brain cell you can give it to me chuck or uh Wonderful yeah, fluffer nutter here. You can even give it to fluffer nutter, and that's if you just don't like either of us. Yep, which is fair. That's that is fair. So honestly, whoever requested this, go ahead and give it to the fluffer nutter. Fluffer nutter liked it. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
But yeah, guys, until next time, Charles Beeson, Joel Norton, and I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Peace. Yep. Peace.